Welcome to the State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The session of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia on Armenian interests. The Minsk Group is obliged to protect the rights of the people of Artsakh. A letter to Oski, Chairman. Ocampo's appeal to the Armenians of the world. Ani, the capital of Western Armenia, Ashot Hayatunyan. Charles Naznavur was honored at the UN headquarters. Harvest Festival Bless the Armenian Bread, Kurm Harut Arakilian. Voice of Artsakh in Vagar Shabbat, Choir of Shushi will present a memorable concert. On 4 September, the regular session took place of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, the chairman of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, opened the session. In his speech, he referred to the coming events in September and talked about their importance. Mr. President also highlighted the visit of native member of parliament from Western Armenia to Eastern Armenia on 15 September to participate in the scientific conference dedicated to Anahid Gades. Nelly Haratunyan, chairwoman of the National Assembly, presented the agenda, who in detail noted the events in September. She mentioned that the upcoming meeting will take place on 8 September on the online platform, where the subject will discuss on the protection of Armenian interests in the United Nations. Preparations for events, development of agendas and distribution of invitations were also discussed. At the end of the session, a number of current issues were also discussed. And Mr. President Armena Gabrahamian closed the session with his speech. Around 50 civil non-governmental organizations of Artsakh have applied to the OSK and its acting chairman, Jan Borg, demanding the application of international sanctions against Baku. They call on to preserve the mandate of the OSK Minsk group and protect the rights of the people of Artsakh. The letter states that the people of Artsakh are victims of Baku's military aggression and the OSCE must responsibility fulfill its international obligations. It is noted that in case of forced pressure by Baku, international sanctions should be applied in order to ensure a peaceful settlement in the conflict zone. The National Assembly of Artsakh has also announced that the OSCE Minsk group failed to defend its declared principles, which gave Baku the opportunity to occupy the territories of Artsakh by military means. Armenians who lead the world. There are three interrelated issues. Eastern Armenia is in danger as long as negotiations on a peace treaty with Baku are underway. It is not clear how the people of Artsakh, who became victims of the 2023 genocide, will be able to return to their native land. 23 Armenian hostages are still in Baku prisons. In 2024, November, Azerbaijan will host COP29, the UN Climate Change Conference, under the slogan COP for Peace in Baku. If the Armenian hostages are not released and COP29 participants ignore the Artsakh conflict, President Aliyev will have a powerful means to advance his geopolitical goals, to conquer whole Armenia. Such a scenario will not only deny the genocide committed in Artsakh and sentence the hostages to stay in prison for many years, but will also throw an entire community into the arms of forgetting the past and deepen the, the rights to Armenia. Armenians around the world are already initiating campaigns. On 23 August, Agbu President Per Sitrakyan appealed to the U.S. Secretary of State demanding the release of Armenian prisoners. Within a month, the hashtags Stop Green Wars Genocide, free Armenian hostages spread on social media, joined by artists, organizations, and thousands of people. It is time to expand the movement and reach out to international decision makers. Armenians are not only the victims of Aliyev and his regime, it's undermining the security of both Azerbaijan and the world. On 9 September, I will visit Armenia at the invitation of Gale Gimba to develop a joint strategy. Let's lead the world to real peace by protecting Armenia. Moreno Acampo, first prosecutor of the International Criminal Court in The Hague. The president of Shushi Patriotic Union, historian Ashot Harutunyan, expressed his opinion regarding Ghani, the capital of medieval Armenia, the city of a thousand and one churches built by the powerful kings of Bagratuni. As an enduring asset, Ani is the capital of the Bagratuni kingdom, was the eighth wonder of the world. 
our noble Armenian city as well as all of Western Armenia in 1920. After the Turkish Armenian War, it was occupied by Kemal Turkey. In 2010, in response to the negligence of the Turkish authorities with the efforts of the government of Western Armenia, the World Heritage Fund included an in the list of monuments on the brink of death. The question arises, is the current government of Eastern Armenia, which makes calls for Turkish-Armenian friendship, able to implement joint projects with Turkey to correct the deplorable condition of Midayavalani and restore its former glory. Returning to today's situation, we have to state that Ani, occupied by the Republic of Western Armenia, is one of the ghost towns of the 21st century. Ani, city of a thousand and one churches and 40 gates, can reach its former glory only by uniting the potential of all Armenians. On the occasion of the 100th anniversary of the legendary chansonnier Charles Aznavour, a reception was held at the United Nations headquarters in New York, USA, which was attended by representatives of the Armenian community, public figures from different countries of the world. In the framework of the event, the world-famous French-Armenian photographer Roger Kasparian, exhibition dedicated to Charles Aznavour was also opened. The sixth month of Sahmi due to Haikian sacred calendar is considered the month of harvest and the blessing of the harvest. On 24 August, the blessing of the grapes is celebrated and on 5 September, the blessing of the bread. Bread and wine have played a big role in Armenian traditions and bread has always occupied an important place in the life of our people. Hatsornek, in English for bread blessing, is an important holiday in which the Aryans sacrificed the first years and grains of wheat, and then Anahit, the Tzamair, goddess Anahit, was honored during the celebration. During the festival in the field, the Kurms would perform and thus a dance blessing to ensure the fruitfulness of the field. At the end, the blessed wheat ears and grains were distributed to the people for their home, hearth, or seed. This celebration reminds us of the importance of our faith and traditions that bind us to our roots. Glory to Armenian mother goddess Anahit. Kurm Harut Arakelian, community of Haikazun Arevortis. Under the patronage of the Presbytery of the Kilikian Diocese of Eastern Armenia, the choir of Shushi is proud to represent a choral concert entitled Singing Artsakh, which will present the spirit and strength of Artsakh through music. Concert Artistic Director and Conductor Zakhar Keshishan, pianist Nadir Dakorian. The concert will take place on September 6 at 5 o'clock in the Hall of Music School No. 1, named after Magar Yigmalyan in Vagar Shabbat. Entrance is free. This was all for today. Goodbye.